I think if there's one chapter that I hate and dread the most, it's this chapter here. Chapter 5, The Shrine Maiden's Battle. What's up, everybody? My name is Bick Benedict. I'm bringing you Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Uh, the chapter challenge mode, we're going after the uh, the Master, the Path of the Master Ninja Trophy. Um, uh, so, first of all, why do I hate this so much? Because it's not fun, it's cheap, and it's boring as hell with this character who I think is... Uh, the, the second worst character, Rachel being the worst. Um, uh, I don't have, I don't really have a problem with Ioni. Her chapter is hard, but it's not a cheap, cheap hardness. This right here is uh, really cheap because uh, she, this, she's so slow. Um, I, I hate fighting with her. Um, uh, but what I don't want this video to be is me just complete, completely going on a rant because I've already done that in my other Master Ninja video, and. Uh, uh, but I'm also just going to say why. Um, uh, anyway, so I like to fall back here. Um, I'll talk strategy in a bit, but first of all, I just want to go over why I hate this level so much, why I dread it. Um, it's it's basically the, the, the first checkpoint system, how it works. Um, so what what happens is that we will, we will, you know, in short order, be getting to the first Tengu brother. And um, for whatever reason, the game decides to not give you a checkpoint um, before the battle. Um, and that kind of goes against what this game did with checkpoints, um, with putting bo uh, checkpoints on, you know, right before a boss. Um, and I know that it's not technically the boss of the level, but um, in Chapter 1 we got a boss, uh, excuse me, we got a, a checkpoint before the uh, the statue mid-level boss fight, so why no checkpoint here? Um, you know, why do they only give you two of your key slots? Um, I, I got a key pickup so I, 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 from that archer. Seems like the archers give you the, the Nimpo drops the, the most frequently here. Um, so I like to go over here, and there's four of these gray ninjas here. So um, I even aim the camera like this way so that when the, cam the camera uh, pans away from the character, I know the enemies are coming at me here. Um, uh, I'm just I'm rotten at the Tengu brothers. I think they're the hardest enemy in this game, um, and they require like the the quickest reflexes imaginable. And uh, the reason I'm not good at them is is mainly because I've ne I can never practice them. Um, you get to practice them a whole hell of a lot on the actual boss fight at the end of the level, um, but at that point I'm just I'm spamming my spamming magic attacks just to get it over with. But um, it could be an enjoyable learning experience. Um, but once you get to the Tengu brother, um, the game decides, for whatever reason, to throw you back at the beginning of the level. Um, so it's just, it's horrible. I don't know why they do it, but um, it's what it is. I think it's the worst checkpoint in the game, um, or lack of a checkpoint, I should say. Um, so there's going to be four archers across the way to shoot here. And then before the Tengu brothers fight, there's a pretty damn hard battle here. Um, so I, I like to... I like to at least get to the boss fight with five, um, five Nimpo usages. So that's uh, you know three and at least two on reserve. Um, normally I have to use two Nimpo here, um, but I I decided to just uh, try to get through it by uh, chaining uh, cha chaining attacks. Now the the worst enemy here to to, to be worried about are the mages. Um, they're just real, their size are so, see I got a Nimpo drop, that was really fortunate. Sometimes you have to kind of depend on that kind of stuff to happen. So don't always absorb all the essence until you're um, confident that there's no none of those uh, orange orbs around because those are invaluable. Uh, the prices are jacked up. When I got to the shop, all I could afford was one item and I, and I was grinding for money. This is grinding for money right here. Um, so... Uh, uh, the spires of fire that the the, the mages um, summon up from the ground, those will, I think those will almost kill you. Um, I know when they shoot their fireballs at you, that takes about half your life away. So it's just very, a very deadly situation. And, uh, and like, um, I'm going to use like a metaphor here. It's, uh, or a simile rather. It's like when you're going on like the highest, uh, like the water, going to the water slides over here. And like, Going all the climbing all the way to the top here, and uh, you know standing in line, and then you get to this point where the Tengu brother is, and just like your stomach just like it just like you can't even breathe because you're so nervous here. That's how I feel here. You're looking down at into the like the abyss um, of just horror here because I know that 
one mistake and I'm dead. If this guy grabs me, um, I'm probably going to be dead unless I can use a healing item. Um, I tried to get through this without using uh, any Nympho and I did, but the whole time, I swear, my palms were sweating. I was so terrified here. These guys are, I mean, look at this guy here. Look at him. He's so scary. Um, it's just not, it's just a situation that's scary. Just, you know, there's nothing to fall back on here. If you screw up, you got to go all the way back. You lose all your progress. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's the most stressful thing I've ever dealt with, this right here. Um, the boss, you know, even though there's two of them, um, so look, he's down, he's not that, they're not that hard, but I just have no practice fighting them, um, so I was really happy to, to succeed, um, there, um, not only, not only to succeed, but to not even, I didn't even use a healing item, or I didn't, I, I only wasted one Nimpo, so I was so happy right there at that point, um, because it, it took me probably 25 times to get that right. Um, I just hate having to start back every time. Um, if there was a checkpoint, I would enjoy this level a lot more. But um, um, so up here we have some uh, some demon spawns here. Um, if you want to try to grind for money on these guys, they're really tough. Um, I mean, you could delim them really easily. See, the both of them are already delimbed, um, and I got by OT, so I don't even worry about. You're gonna have to do the red UT probably about 12 times to to actually kill these guys. Um, if you want to, it's just way too tough, so don't even worry about it. Um, and then the second problem about this whole area is that um, from the save point to the next save point, the, dra the two dragon statues, they're absolute, there's no checkpoint whatsoever. So if you die, um, you're going to have to lose a lot of progress. It's just it's maddening, but um, I was a little less stressed this time around just because I knew the full extent of all the bullshit that occurs in this level. And um, I, I just was a little bit more confident at knowing how to delim enemies here. Um, uh, so it, delimbing enemies, uh, it's pretty basic stuff. Um, you want to delim enemies with the square button. So if you're around enemies, just um, just lightly tap on the square button a couple of times. Um, it's kind of random how you delim the enemies. Um, it's just up to the game. Um, but parries, if you get a successful parry, that will always guarantee that you delim an enemy. Um, so um, that's that's what I try to do. Um, on the Ioni section, I will be sundering the enemy's limbs with the with without parrying though, because it's too it's too hard with her. But um, there is a lot of opportunities here to get a lot of money. But like I said, the only thing I could afford at the shop was uh, one one item, and the only item I bought was uh, one Devil's Way mushroom. That's how expensive all the prices are. So uh, make sure that um, you try to m not use much items here, or you know, try to use as few items as you can possibly get away with. Now, um, another really hard part about this is that we have two mages that we just need to clear really quick before we can, you know, get our stress level back to normal before it's going to spike up again um, uh, down the line once we approach the next save point and uh, they're throwing more stuff at us. Um, now these guys spawn right up here. And uh, normally I would flee from these mages, but now I got a little bit more confidence in myself now since I've already cleared this whole game on Master Ninja. Um, so I like to just, um, you need to be on the move constantly. And I knew that the, the mages, they really don't have much HP, but um, they're, a, they're, they're an enemy that's a lot faster than Momiji is. Uh, I, for whatever reason, I just don't, I, I like her as a character, I, I don't mind her. It's just that her movements are very slow, and I don't care for the weapon that she uses, um, uh, that pole. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but... Um, so our focus right now, it should be just get this mage out of the way. Um, you can't Azuna... Uh, you, excuse me, you can't you can Azuna drop. You can guillotine throw. You just can't do a flying swallow for obvious reasons. So we got the two mages done. Now, if you can, if you can clear the two mages, you're in pretty good shape. Um, and now it's just a matter of, you know, going back here charging our attack and then just finishing off the rest of these enemies with uh, careful attacks here and there's a lot of these guys but you know for as many enemies as there are um, they're just there's so uh, little chance to buy anything I mean um, you can completely grind for money here but you know only being only being able to buy one item at the shop you know after I grinded for money well I don't know if it's I wasn't always grinding for money here um, you know, always sundering limbs, uh, just kind of doing hand-to-hand -hand combat sometimes, but, um, so, don't miss any chests, because those chests, 
I think um, a Devil's Way mushroom, it was costing me about 8,000 um, essence. And I think I probably only had like 10,000 or something, maybe like 9,000 total. So, I mean, you really don't even get much of an opportunity. This level is so brief that um, you don't get much of an opportunity to kill enemies. And another thing that I really, really find bad about this section, and I'm not ranting, I'm just, just stating just things that are not right with this level. Um, so once you go to the shop, you get your opportunity to, pur to purchase items, correct? And you purchase all your items, and then um, you go through the gate to the next area, and you go to, you go down a path, face enemies, and save it. Um, uh, what this game does incorrectly, or you know, kind of selfishly, and with not with, and just without any thought of what the gamer might you know his wishes might want to be here, um, they don't give you the opportunity to go back to the safe to the to the store after you save it. Um, so there is, uh, you know, you have to kill the enemies in order to progress, but there's really no incentive for you to, uh, to rack up money because anything you get after you go through the door, um, it, it's just, it's, it's just never going to be used. So I don't understand that. Um, especially with, with so little opportunity to, to earn money on the stage, um, to not be able to, uh, to go back to the say, to the store and purchase items, it's just really wrong. So I'm gonna get this item right here. These are uh, all very expensive items, and uh, I needed every item on the bosses. Um, so I'll be showing you the way I take care of the situations ahead. But um, they're a little cheap, but it's the way I just have to get through this because it's uh, this level is cheap. I mean, it's it's really lousy. Um, I, I I really never enjoy playing any of the female characters' chapters in this game. Um, so, Devil's Way Mushroom, there's the $8,000 item right there. Um, so, um, I have uh, two I have two flames underneath, under, underneath my health bar. So, there's the edit right there. Now, the doors are going to close on you here, and there's no going back ever. Um, uh, if you actually do backtrack and if you save it and go back to where the door is, there's like a glitched out area and and it's it's a no man's land. It's nothing. It's just a bunch of messed up messed up environments. You can check it out. It's kind of interesting. You may have to restart your game because it'll glitch out though. Um, but I am going to be employing a, the door glitch um, that I did not invent, but I saw someone do it and uh, I said I'm on board for that because. Uh, that looks like a perfectly g a good way to deal with this cheap-ass chapter that I loathe with every firmament of my body. Um, so we're taking out these guys here, and uh, there's, there's even a, another cheap... here. So the next example is a really good example of how cheap this game is. Um, there's just a lot of things in this level that if you don't know what's ahead, you're fucked, and you have to go all the way back. So... We have two melee ninjas that are going to stand in our way before the save point. Here they come right over here. I'm not sure where the trip wire point is exactly because this area is, is very monotonous. Uh, I mean, it's, it all looks the same here. So here they are. They throw these guys. I mean, you could be going on your merry way and then up those guys pop and they could grab you in one hit and kill you. So what I like to do is backtrack, charge up, even a level one charge. And just get whatever, get off whatever you possibly can. So fortunately, I delimb both of the enemies. Um, I was trying to OT that guy, but the controller, she was going too wild. She was going spastic right there. Um, but from this point on, um, don't even approach those guys because if you try to attempt to, to OT them, you could succeed, but you could also fail. And if you fail, you have to go back to the safe statue and lose every bit of progress that you've just made. So, um, like I was talking a moment ago, I have two fireballs under my health meter, meaning I can cast an impo twice, and I have um, three... Or, no, excuse me, I have two um, Devil's Way Mushrooms. So what I like to do over here is uh, manipulate this door. Um, you just go about halfway through and then double back. And then you can kill all the enemies through the door except for the two mages who uh, teleport out to you in a moment here. And I'll be putting all this in fast forward. Uh, my only concern about this uh, is not one that you need to, to uh, you know concern your own self with, but um, I thought that if I did this little trick on Chapter Challenge, that it would take too long and or I wouldn't get enough points, um, karma points, to earn my, myself a Master Ninja rank. Um, you saw right there a, a piece of Nimpo flew into me right there, so now I have a three and two, so I could use Nimpo five times. That's what it usually always comes down to for me. Um, uh, so 
you could also manipulate this to, to where if you only have one NIMPO available, um, you could. I I have very frequently gotten two NIMPOs um, uh, from this whole thing right here, where you're shooting the enemies through the door. Um, if you don't, you could just start over. I heard these mages. These guys screwed me. See, they hit me. Two fireballs almost killed me. But it doesn't matter at this point. We do have it that that save point. Um, so. Now I'm going to put the rest of this footage in fast forward speed just because it was taking too long and actually sometimes the dragons the dragons can like get caught on I think they get caught behind the trees or behind part of the door and if that happens you're going to have to do what I did um, just kind of move around until they get unstuck from the other side of the door. I know this is really cheap and it's kind of pathetic but um, those those two qualities are pretty much what describes this whole chapter cheap and pathetic. Um, Anyway, so the dragon was caught over here. I was trying to move around to get him unstuck. If you can't unstick him, just start over. Um, you get the opportunity to start over on uh, chapter challenges um, from your nearest save point. It'll say, do you want to resume from your last save point? And here, so here they are. These guys cannot hit you, um, not with their t claws or even if they shoot fire. Um, the fire will go right through you. So that's done. And now we have the Tengu Brothers. So uh, whichever one you want to focus on, you press the... The, the R button and that will change the view um, I, I I can't stand these guys I'm not good at them and I just passed them just so I could get past it and do do the other enjoyable stuff in this game because this is not enjoyable to me um, uh, so I don't know how to deal with these guys uh, <laughs> you know that sounds bad for someone who's making a guide for this game but I I, I don't know um, uh, you're supposed to evade, and when they stomp down onto you, you can block, but you need to dodge away. Um, like, one really good move is to press up and triangle, and that will push them back. Um, just do it really quick, like that swipe that I did right there. That swipe will uh, push them away from you and deal a lot of damage. Um, these guys, uh, like, a lot of people think they're really easy, and, you know, for some people they are. They can do this whole thing without getting any damage, but look how much this Nimpo takes away from these guys. Cast it five times, and then both of them are almost dead. If you, if you had six abilities, they, these guys wouldn't even have a chance. So um, this worked out really well for me at, at the at the beginning, and then of course near the end when I had one guy left on his last legs, he grabbed me. I think he grabbed me twice, um, and I managed to to skate by. But um, you, if you're not good at this like me, you're really gonna need some Nimpo here. I depend on Nimpo for this. I can't do it. I don't have the reflexes. Her character, I can never, I can't feel this character. I cannot get into the groove of what you're supposed to be doing with her attacks. Um, mainly because, first of all, I can't practice on the first encounter. And here, I, I just don't even want to practice. I just want to use Nimpo and just clear him as fast as I can. Maybe use a UT or two. Um, so now I'm just going to keep casting Nimpo until this guy is almost going to be dead. And uh, just look at how this ended up here. Um, it's actually really funny. Um, I'm going to cast it one more time, and then let, let, let's see how much health he has. He only has a couple more hits, and then he's dead. But look at the result here. I guess it was, and I guess I deserved it for being so cheap, but, but just look what happens here. Um, he blocks all those. He blocks that. And then, uh, let's see. He's, he's, he, he's going to grab me. I know he's going to grab me. Um, I'm going to evade right there. Uh, he missed me. I got out of his clutches right there. Come on, he's thinking. I know he's thinking about grabbing me. That's all they think about. Um, so don't get too far away. They'll throw that. Um, so one hit left, and then he grabs you like that. And I save my save my ass with uh, healing item. Had to use two. And guess what happens again? Look at this. Watch this. Watch what this guy does. One hit left. I only needed one hit left. He did that. Uh, okay, he didn't grab me again, but God, talk about skating by on a bot. I, I hate that level so much. But there it is. Chapter five completed. Um, we did well enough to earn the master ninja ranking. Although it uh, it wasn't very impressive, but we did the job. We got it done.